<laughs> okay. Check it out. Here it is, guys. You can see it's a bit bigger hole than the original ones. happening YouTube welcome back to another video man I've been waiting for this P2R part to come in finally came in I believe let's go check it out yeah that's it Ta -da! Ooh. <laughs> okay yep yep that's it can you guess what else is in here other than that P2R thermal gasket, intake gasket. It is. Man, these are mad light. Ooh, look at that. CNC ported runners. Yes, baby girl. Mommy wants coffee. Ooh. Coffee, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Daddy's car part. Daddy's got a cart for it. Anything else in there? Man, that's what's up. He gave me a sticker. So yeah, that's what I got. CNC ported runners. Holy crap, look at that. Wow. It's beautifully machined, guys. Beautifully machined. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. It's gonna be like that installed. So the injector is gonna go in these holes right here. Daddy. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a. I cool. have that too. You do? Yeah. <laughs> she approves of it. I think it's like an engine. So that's right. It's part of your engine. So. I just uh, say an engine. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's an engine. Yeah, it's it's a part of the engine. So these guys, um, wow, they're just very nicely made, guys. CNC ported runners, man. I wonder how the stock one looks and how smaller the hole is. I'm going to send back the old ones. That way I get like 75 bucks back, some money back. I'll be installing these today, definitely. Um, hopefully it makes some, some more power. <laughs> these P2 are... Uh, CNC uh, ported intake runners. These are actually supposed to increase your horsepower around like seven horsepower throughout the power band from like low to mid horsepower, I believe. The stock runners, the, the hole is much smaller. There's a machine that actually uh, uh, machines it and makes the hole bigger. So versus the old school where you just port and polish it. Um, these are actually cut by a machine, so it's it's uniform cut throughout the whole entire thing. So it looks really good, man. I can't wait to install this thing. I don't believe it's gonna increase a whole bunch of horsepower, or I'm, I don't think I'm gonna fill it as much. But I don't know. I'm I'm hoping to fill something. And then we got these thermal gaskets. Pretty Daddy, cool. You need this. So that part number is P145 for the gasket. Daddy, Daddy, yeah. <laughs> I see that. And then depending on what uh, uh, J series engine you have, J32, J35, J37, and all those different kinds is what you'll go off by when you buy these. But I got this through um, uh, Hilltoe Automotive. That's where I got it from. They're dealing with P2R, so it's pretty cool. They're, P2R is doing a whole bunch of stuff, man, to the J-Series engine, which is so cool, man. I've talked with Sean about getting like a top top end build, bottom end build, so he's a cool guy, man. If you guys need anything, check out P2R, guys. PowerRedRacing.com. They offer a lot of things on there. I'm also planning on getting more stuff from there, like an EGR Elite. And, um, man, I can't wait to... to uh, purchase more stuff from them so check them out guys they offer a lot of good stuff from them first thing you want to do is remove this plate right here and we got to remove the intake right. 
and take removal first. Take off this connector. It says push. Where it says push, you wanna just squeeze it. It pops right off. So guys, this installation, uh, if you guys don't do it right, your Chenka Ninja Light will be on, like this sensor right here, if you forget to connect it. Your cell will be on, guys. So pop that off, pop this hose off. Here. And the sun's going down, man, crap. I gotta hurry up. So this takes a 10 millimeter socket to take everything off for this top plate. And I'm gonna set it right here. Unplug the uh, intake runner connector off. Eh, it's not too carboned up. Then the next step is these 12 millimeter bolts. We'll have to take them off. There, I see some 10 millimeters in there, but don't take that off. I don't. I believe the only thing you gotta take off is the 12 millimeter bolts. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven bolts and two nuts. I'm gonna take off this hose right here that goes to the intake plenum. This is called the intake plenum. <clears throat> I know this is a, doesn't add that much horsepower, but I'm already slow as it is. Whatever I can do to gain more horsepower I'm down for that. Cause I'm already slow, man. Uh, took off these hoses over here. There's a lot of parts we'll be taking off. Don't forget to put anything back or else you will have problems in the future. Gonna take off this intake uh, mount. Yeah, let's take off this uh, throttle body connector. <clears throat> so you gotta push right here, squeeze it just like this connector. S push, squeeze, pull it out. Push, squeeze, pull it out, then that throttle body connector should come right off. I'm gonna take off this connector for the pressure control solenoid. So if you follow this down, this little hose right here to this pressure control solenoid, I took the connector off and I'm also gonna take off the hose back down there. Sorry guys, it's getting dark, man. I didn't have time to install it earlier. There's a line right under the throttle body. Um, see one, and the second one I'm below, I'm trying to remove that hose. There's a coolant hose. So when you move this hose, you're gonna have coolant everywhere. Here's the coolant. Ah, oh, not bad. Okay, cool. The car is cold, so not a lot of messes. Okay, it should come off right now. <clears throat> there we go, very nice. What else is connected on there? The other coolant hose, all right. I'm gonna just set it like this. Hopefully it doesn't fall. That's good. So we will not be using these because the hole is actually... Um, In Wow. Huh? Right here. Oh, okay. White pan. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the hole is actually the same size. This is just a thermal gasket. So it's. Uh, it's a bag rin? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I had that one. I had that one installed for like. I've, been, I've had that for like a year now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. I had the two nuts that came off of them, so I'm gonna install one upside down. A little trick for you guys, man. You guys, non mechanic people. And then put the other one right above it, and you're gonna need two 12 millimeter wrench. All right, I hope you guys can see that. I, I have the two nuts installed on there. I'm gonna tighten it up just like that. So after I tighten it up, I'm going to use the bottom nut, 
put up my 12 and I unscrew it. And it worked. Awesome. Check it out, man. And just unscrew it. This trick right here, like, for you to learn this trick, you have to be like a mechanic for a really long time. That's pretty cool. And if you do know it, props to you, man. But if you don't, there you go. I'm like your, I'm like your, your big brother, man. I'm going to help you all install these things. Cool. And then we'll put it onto the new one. Make sure you guys don't drop anything in there. Put it onto the new one. Before you take these off, make sure you know which hole it goes into because <laughs> I just got confused. All right, the next step is uh, we got to remove the injectors uh, and the fuel fuel rails as a as whole assembly. It looks like a 10, milli 10 millimeter uh, bolt right here and right here, same as the other side. But before we do that, I'm going to cover this up. And if you have any like compressed air or like maybe like a blower like this, you want to get all that dirt off that's hiding under there. Because if you take off the the runners and the injectors, dirt is going to fall into your cylinder heads and you don't ever want that. As you can see, I covered it with the rag and I'm going to blow air right here. I'm telling you, man, this, that place right there, that valley, is like a freaking dustpan. And there's still dirt under there, man. That's not cool. But we will proceed. It's getting dark. I got to make this a lot quicker. All right, I'm going to remove this uh, 10 millimeter injector screw mount, whatever it is called. There's two of them. And I sh after this, I should be able to remo remove the whole injector assembly. Here's the two bolts. I'm going to put it like right there. Uh, move this. Ooh, damn, I broke the clip. Oh well. I'm trying to move this wire harness. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you guys uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more. And also, don't forget part two. Go check it out right now. Peace.